Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. I hope you guys are doing really good. Um, so I felt an energy shift in the last couple of days and I haven't done an energy shift reading in quite some time. Now today is uh, November 19th. So today Mars goes, goes into Scorpio in Tropic. I'm referring to a Tropic transit here. Yes, I study Vedic. I feel like some of you guys are asking me this like right off the bat. Yes, I study Vedic. Um, my readings are in Tropic. That's a whole conversation. Um, but I do find Vedic to be very interesting. Anyway, so I have personally felt a very big energy shift in the last couple of days, and I feel like the collective has felt it as well. Like a very fiery kind of a shift, and knowing that Mars is going into Scorpio, home to Scorpio, it makes sense, right? Mars and Scorpio leans towards very proactive, very aggressive sort of en energy, but with the intent of digging up truth, with the intent of getting to the core of people, the core of issues, the core of situations, also just getting shit done as well. It's a very focused energy. It's also very driven, disciplined energy, okay? So just keep in mind, you guys might be feeling that a little bit. Um, people might also be very aggressive towards you, so don't take it personally. <laughs> don't take it personally. Everyone's kind of on their own little personal mission right now. Like, that's what it is. Everyone's kind of um, more focused. They're getting more focused right now, and so people don't want to be stopped along their path and their personal missions okay including yourselves so just be aware of that but i wanted to see what's coming in with this energy shift if there's anything we need to know mars will be in again in tropic mars will be in scorpio through um to 2020 which i think is actually really beneficial um capricorn energy has been haunting us a little bit uh for, for our own good it's really helped us to look at our own like inner wounds um like deep deep shit not just the oh they broke my heart kind of shit but like the oh, I was abused as a child sort of shit, right? And this is how it's affected me in my relationship sort of thing. Um, also, of course, the dismantling of the patriarchy. A lot of us have been talking about that for quite some time. Now, where we are now, we're going to be um, going into Capricorn energy, more Capricorn energy very soon. And a lot of you who've been watching me for quite some time know that I've been getting February a lot of my readings. Well, I took a look and oh my, <laughs> February is gonna be like the month of Capricorn energy. Okay, I was kind of flabbergasted when I looked at it. I was like, oh shit. So Jupiter goes into Capricorn on December, again, all tropic. I'm talking about all tropic here. Uh, Jupiter goes into Capricorn on the 2nd. We have um, the new moon in Capricorn, which is the eclipse on the 26th of December. And essentially by that time, we'll be in sun in Capricorn season, okay? We'll ring in, 20, we'll ring in 2020, all the way leading up into February, fast forwarding to February. Let's not talk about January just yet. Um, so going into February... Mars will be in Capricorn, Mercury will be in Capricorn, Jupiter will be in Capricorn, Saturn will be in Capricorn, and Pluto will be in Capricorn. Not to mention, you know, North Node and South Node will still be in Cancer and Capricorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going to be really intense, guys. February is going to be a really intense month. For the positive, though, I feel like it's really positive. We're just going to see like a huge influx of that same energy that we've been experiencing as far as like getting us to where we need to be and getting away from the things that haven't served us because it's a North Node, South Node dance that's been attributing to all this Capricorn energy as well, kind of supporting all of that. So in February, expect to see a lot more dismantling of the patriarchy and expect a lot of people to also um, own that in their own individuality and in their own lives as well and in their relationships because Venus is also doing something very interesting at that time. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Mar uh, Mars and Scorpio is supporting uh, is supporting a lot of that through the rest of 2019, okay? All right, because it's basically getting us to do shit, getting us to be very proactive and focused. So let's talk about this energy shift. Spirit, what can we expect for this energy shift? Anything we need to be aware of for this energy shift? Anything? Interesting. Keep your eyes open. I just heard keep your eyes open. Hmm. Anything we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Anything we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Anything we need to be aware of regarding this energy shift? I feel like taking on a lot of new things, taking on a lot of new things. December is going to be big for that as well. Like I said, this is leading us into December, right? Um, yeah, they're, they're bringing up December. December, there's going to be a lot of new opportunities, a lot of gateways is what I just heard, a lot of gateways and a lot of openings, a lot of openings, a lot of new opportunities. So keep your eyes, I'll keep your eyes open for that. Keep your eyes open for that. Don't stop working. This is not a time to rest. Is what we just said. It is not a time to rest, people. 
Apparently it's not a time to rest. Mars in Scorpio is not doesn't lean towards resting anyway. You'll probably actually be feeling a lot of uh, more a lot more energy. It might even be hard for you guys to sleep. If you got a lot of extra energy, use it. Use it. Don't try to don't try to rest through it. Use it. Use it. Anything we should know regarding this energy shift? They're bringing up Venus. Where's Venus right now? I think Venus is in Sag. Yeah, Venus is in Sag, and then that goes in, into Capricorn. <laughs> that goes into Capricorn uh, towards the end of the month, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure like by the end of the month, Venus is in Capricorn. Or does that happen in December? Shoot, no, I don't remember. But something about Venus, Venus going into Capricorn. Oh, oh, okay, a lot of business opportunities. Because as Venus goes into Capricorn, I'll be talking about all this in my full Moon Newman videos as well anyway. Um, again, all tropic. Um, but with Venus going into Capricorn, that does lean more towards family relationships and business relationships. And with Mars and Scorpio, again, that's a very driven energy, a very focused energy. And I, I felt the Eight of Pentacles, man. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Don't stop working. It ain't a time to rest, okay? Not a time to rest, especially if you've been working on your dreams, especially your dream work scenario. Don't stop. This energy is really aiding that. And as Venus goes into Capricorn, these relationships, that's what it is. These relationships and opportunities will come to the forefront and opportunities will come as a result of that regarding work specifically. So don't stop. It's a good time to get noticed is what I just heard too. It's a good time to get noticed. Hmm. Anything else we should be aware of regarding this energy shift? Ah! Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at you working on that pentacle. Okay. <laughs> That's you working your ass off to get these opportunities, to get more abundance, more stability. Don't stop working. You will be noticed and opportunities will come, especially as Venus goes into Capricorn. Those relationships that will bring these opportunities will be highlighted and gateways, doorways, pathways will start to open. And what, look over there. What is that? That's a pathway. That's a pathway to walk through, okay? Ooh. Don't get distracted. Do not get distracted right now. Don't get distracted with relationships. Don't get distracted with fun and friends. It's okay to have fun. Just don't let it get dis uh, get, your, get you distracted. Anything else we need to know regarding this energy shift? Yeah, this is, I can feel it. This is energy that's going to carry us through to 2020, okay? So just be mindful of that. I didn't mean to do a whole reading for the rest of the year. <laughs> I really didn't mean to. I just was like, I felt the shift. I just wanted to talk about it. Oh, very nice. Three of Wands, Aries energy. These are opportunities that you will be working hard for, and some of you have already worked really hard for them, and you are expecting some kind of payback, some kind of reward. They will be coming. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy to help you elevate yourself, to help you move on to the next level. Some of you, this will be requiring a move as well. You will have to leave people behind. That's also what I just heard. People will have to be left behind. Um, okay, getting a download. For those of you who haven't worked through your karmic shit, be it letting yourself be stuck in situations that you know is that you know does not serve your highest good, or that has inhibited you from these opportunities and abundance, or has inhibited you from working so hard, you're gonna miss the boat. Okay? They want me to really reiterate that. You're gonna miss the boat. So it's never too late to start working here, okay? But certain people, certain situations have to be left behind if you want this especially before 2020 hits, okay? All that Saturn, Cappy energy, you don't want karma to come and hit you in the face, okay? You don't want Saturn to come and smack you in the face, essentially. Any, um, any other messages regarding this energy shift? Oh, look at that, the world, Saturn. <laughs> This is the card of Saturn, Capricorn. It's also fixed energy, as you can see. We got Leo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, and Scorpio here. Whole new cycle starting. I feel like this is just representing 2020, to be honest with you. I feel like this is just representing 2020. Some of you will even be moving countries, not just cities here, okay? Yeah, this is like, this. these are big opportunities. You do not want to miss the boat. Start working. Don't get distracted. A lot of you have already been doing this. Some of you have been doing the work that you've been needing to do to get these opportunities, okay? You know who you are. You don't need me to punch out. Oh, very interesting. 
Overall energy, justice in reverse. Libra energy. Ooh, that's an interesting overall energy. Why is justice in reverse here? This is interesting. So I, I really feel like this is just about your own injustices that you've experienced, which is why you're working so hard in what's going to basically make you happy and what really calls to you to get these new opportunities. And you're expecting the reward for that. It's almost like karmic payback. Like all the people that have done you wrong, all the people that didn't believe in you. Yeah, all the people that didn't believe in you. That's going to be addressed. That's going to be addressed. As long as you do your work, you will get there. You will get here. This is pretty damn beautiful. Look at that. That's the epitome of elevation. That's the epitome of new chapters and new beginnings. Like, and not just, you know, not just a new cycle, but brand new beginnings, brand new books of your life, not just another chapter. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So let's look at this eight of pentacles. It is the first card out. Um, I do feel like it's just purely about the work that you're going to be doing, the pentacle you're going to be working on here. I do feel big financial rewards, though, for some of you. Big financial rewards. Uh, some of you is right away for this one. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. And then we'll look at the Six of Swords. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. Regarding this energy shift. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. Regarding this energy shift. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles regarding this energy shift. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles for this energy shift. A lot of giving to yourself. A lot of giving to yourself here is going to really pay off right now. Oh, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire growth. This is growth here. And um, again, that same pentacle you're working on. Hold on. Do you see that? Damn. Oh, did you see how that just like flew out of my hand? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Do you see that? There you go. There it is. That same pentacle you're working on here. That same freaking pentacle. I feel like it's you forging opportunities, almost like manifestation and according to your own growth and abundance here. Okay. I don't feel like it's a opportunities will come to you for sure they will come to you but i feel like this is really representing your growth more than anything so i'm with the eight of pentacles tell me more about this eight of pentacles to get yourself moving wow oh my we got six of cups scorpionic energy sun and scorpio um so I mean, technically, as we're recording, it's still Sun and Scorpio, right? Uh, three of Cups in reverse, uh, Cancer energy with the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy here. Yeah, focusing on you, putting in the hard night, hard labor into whatever you need to build for yourself, for your abundance, your growth, and putting away like the fun, putting away um, people who are distractions. That's what I'm getting with that. Turning your back on distractions. And again, nothing wrong with fun. It's just a time to not rest. It's a time to work. Look at all these pentacles, Jesus. Can I have the Eight of Pentacles? Can I have the Eight of Pentacles? Can I have the Eight of Pentacles? Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the, oh, I'm getting authenticity. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian could also be Earth or Air. You know, it's interesting because King of Pentacles in reverse is very money focused, very money focused here. And I feel like it's about letting go of that, letting go of the focus on the money and putting the focus on what authentically makes you happy regarding your work specifically. Okay. And just in general, what makes you happy with all these pentacles, it's definitely about your work. And we already have a lot of the energy going into uh, December anyway, but yeah, letting go of the 3d focus, the, the focus on materials, the focus on money, the focus on buying that thing, having the most and how much I have in my bank account, letting go of that, letting go of that way of being and working what authentically makes you happy. So regarding work, because a lot of you, this is definitely about work here. Some of you, it's going to be a career shift. Some of you, it's going to be a career change or taking on a new business or just, you know, talking to your boss and being like, look, 
I don't love X, Y, and Z about my job. I know I can be good at D, E, F, G at my job. Let me do D, E, F, G. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy. Following what makes you authentically happy. Okay. What really makes your heart and soul sing? It's not about the dollars. Because, you know, God, I was just talking to somebody about this too. Um, when you put the intent, especially when, when, if we're talking work, if you put the intention in your workspace on what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, what makes you proud about your job, the money will follow. It will follow. If you put the intention on, I need to make the most money possible. I need to get as many bonuses as possible. Like money, 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 money. You're not going to be happy. And even if you do get more money, you're still not going to be happy. Your soul is not going to be happy. And you're still going to be craving that sati satiation in some way, shape, or form. It's really about the intention of what makes you truly happy and what's authentic to you, okay? Overall energy, that six of swords again, moving ahead, moving forward, elevation, promotion, that sort of energy. And again, also card of movement. We have a lot of movement energy here. And then we've got the Nine of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Heading there fast. Heading fast. Some of you, mm, interesting. <laughs> For some of you, keep in mind it can be vice versa, but now I'm getting like meeting of minds. And like I said, as Venus goes into Capricorn, a lot of these relationships regarding work and family will be highlighted. Will be highlighted, but underneath that, we have a Queen of Cups in a verse. Cancer and energy, also Pisces or Scorpio. I feel someone is emotionally closed off here. Very emotionally closed off. For some of you, there is a King of Pentacles who will be um, heading to a Queen of Cups here. Someone who's closed off from this person. Um, whoever's been in this energy of, of you know, money focus, material focus, image focus, letting, letting that go to be more authentic. But to meet up with someone who's closed off to them for whatever reason or another. And underneath that, we have the Ace of Pentacles. With, oh, with the four of wands, Aries energy. So opportunities to build. Opportunities to build. So, oh God, sorry guys. Keep in mind, it can't be vice versa. All of a sudden I got really nasally. As much as my nasal chakra. Anyway, happening to me a lot lately. So essentially we have a theme here of people who've been very image focused, very 3D focused, very focused on luxury, money, that sort of shit. Getting very bogged down in the 3D realizing that that's not the way to be realizing that that doesn't bring happiness and to focus on their happiness to focus on what makes them more authentic to themselves and growing because of that growing because of that we have people in that energy coming out of that energy to head towards people who are closed off to them telling me there's a history there okay going to people who are very emotionally closed off to them to offer them foundations whether it's just a business offer a lot of you this is business like i said business relationships will be highlight highlighted to offer a relationship or just to offer a business of, of oh, Jesus, a business offer or a relationship. Sorry, guys. I'm getting really distracted by my nasally situation here. Okay. Very interesting. So there's that offer. There's that offer. It's expected. It's an offer that's expected here. And then we have opening brand new cycles. I'm more interested in this. Okay. I'm more interested in that. So let's take a look at that. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Mm. Lord have mercy. Okay. You want to look at the world of Hindu Gilded. Look at the world regarding this energy shift. So if you've experienced, so like, let's say you're the Queen of Cups here. You're emotionally closed off to somebody who used to be very image focused, very money focused, very, I'm also getting controlling and greedy, very controlling and greedy, uh, focused on power, too focused on power. Let's say you used to deal with someone like that in business. Well, they're coming back. Okay. <laughs> they're coming back. I do feel there's a history with these kind of, with these energies here. Okay. And like I said, it's reading an energy shift. So it doesn't have to apply to you specifically, but I feel like for a lot of you, it most likely is. It could also be just relationship, but we have a lot of pentacles here, which screams business to me. Okay. Or having some kind of money at the hand of it. And we do have justice in reverse overall, some kind of wrongdoing, right? Like I said, like almost like karmic payback. A little bit here there also could have been some legal shit that's gone down between you and this person turn up the world turn up the world regarding this energy shift you know i might do a second spread i think yeah i think i will i think i'm gonna do a second spread with the shaman deck turn up the world regarding this energy shift
world regarding this energy shift. Talk about the world regarding this energy shift. Talk about the world regarding the energy shift. <laughs> the world. <laughs> Double confirmation there. See if anything else wants to come out. These new opportunities might be very different for all of you, so it might be kind of vague, but I just wanted to see. Oh, yeah, it's just repeating itself. Six of Swords. Like, quite literally, look at this. <laughs> Definitely repeating itself right there. Yeah, we might not get much more off of this. Give it one more go. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. For, yeah, growth, growth and opportunities. Ooh, now we got a page. More of that offer. I'm also getting more self reflection. I'm getting self reflection. Self reflection. Um, Analyzing opportunities as well. Yeah, I feel like this um, this person who's getting out of this image-focused energy uh, is making an offer, like I said, to a Queen of Cups energy, someone who's emotionally um, detached from them. I feel like the Queen of Cups is going to be in this Page of Pentacles energy of analyzation and looking at it. Sign about the world. I just heard power position. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is that Queen of Cups energy. Like I said, I could feel that. I could feel that, that this person's analyzing the offer that's coming in. I don't, I don't like the idea of power positions here, especially when we're talking energy shifts, but it almost seems like it's very obvious this Queen of Cups is going to be in the in the decision-making seat with this, and it's almost like giving power to that Queen. <laughs> queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. I'm gaining understanding, trying to gain understanding of it, trying to gain clarity on it. If it's valid, if it's worth taking. This is not going to be the only offer, by the way, is what I just heard. It's not going to be the only offer. Talking about the world. Overall energy. Nine of swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Whoa, with the ace of wands. And we've got the lovers. Gemini energy. The lovers, I'm just getting a head over heart decision. I'm really just getting decision at the core of that. Um, this person, you know, these two people could be highly connected in a very spiritual way. You'll know if that's the case for you. It's an energy shift reading. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly general. Okay. Essentially, we have opportunities coming in. Some from the past where there was an injustice of sorts, specifically in business. Like I said, business relationships will be highlighted for the rest of the year. And as long as you keep working, putting in that work, creating that pentacle, manifesting these opportunities, you're going to be in a really good spot. It is going to require leaving some people behind if you haven't done that already or leaving old ways of being behind if you haven't done that already. And if you're not putting in the work, you're not putting in the discipline, again, Saturn Capricorn energy requires that, right? You will miss the boat, okay? Anyway, so this is, I'm almost going to get a huge sigh of relief of like, oh, the opportunity's here. It's something I really want. It's something that I've been um, manifesting. It's something that there's a lot of like passion and desire for behind it. Could it be a very passionate relationship? Like I said, of course it can. You'll know if that applies to you, okay? But yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. Opportunities galore. Get ready. Make sure you're working. It's not a time to rest, apparently. So let me pull the shaman deck out here because I am kind of curious. And I love that deck. I usually get such big, big... Um, messages for the collective off of that deck and I don't use it too often okay oh put that away all right get a little sit first mm. okay oh, anything we need to know about this energy shift Anything we need to know about this energy shift? Anything we need to know about this energy shift? Yeah, please make sure that you're doing all you can before the eclipse specifically, as far as like clearing out um, any of your wounds, anything that's been holding you back, anything that you know, be honest with yourself, anything that you know has been holding you back. Um, whether it's your own behavior, your lifestyle choices, the people you decide to be around, the environments you decide to entertain, all of that stuff, all that stuff. Any other messages regarding this energy shift? Anything else we should know regarding this energy shift?
anything else we should know regarding this energy shift? Anything else we should know regarding this energy shift? Very quiet. Oh, thank you. The Blade, Energy of Six. I love that this card came out. This is a card of forging and destroying. What was I just saying? Make sure you get rid of all that shit that you know you need to get away from or just stop participating in or stop doing and start creating. Start that Eight of Pentacles energy. Start creating and forging those pentacle opportunities. Start manifesting. Manifesting does require physical, excuse me, work. Okay? It does. Some people forget that. Sorry, I had coffee before this. Okay. <sighs> Anything else you want us to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Anything else you want us to be aware of regarding this energy shift? Oh, there it is. There it is. Everything I've been saying. The soul retrieval. 49, breaking down to a four. Stability, security. I'm mostly hearing management. Interesting. I'm mostly hearing management with that. Soul retrieval. What did I just say? Purge yourself. Dig deep within yourself. Get, you know, deal with those wounds and get back those pieces of yourself to start manifesting and creating what's in your highest good, what's good for your soul. Okay. Essentially, if you haven't put yourself back together, it's time to put yourself back together, okay? Overall energy, we do have the hummingbird. 20, oh, camera freaked out. 26, breaking down to an eight, an energy of, it's my CEO energy, actually. It's very prosperous. It's very abundant. It's success. It's security as well. So it's interesting. We have the four and the eight, like a doubling right here. Working through the six, an energy of harmony and balance. Getting aligned, getting aligned. Like I said, more of that same, it's just more of that same energy. I'm gonna sound like a broken record at this point. Um, but the hummingbird is a timing energy as well. It's about acting, taking action now, being proactive now. Not a time to rest, guys. It's not a time to rest. It's a time to work. I know it's the holiday season. <laughs> I know we're going to be the holidays for the rest of the year. Um, but it's not a time to rest. It's not. And if you guys notice, do you, see the, do you see what I see? Do you see what I see in all these three cards? The sun, the sun, the sun. Illumination, prosperity, new beginnings, second chances even, and abundance. Also, we do have a lot of Leo energy is at this time. We're harnessing a lot of Leo energy. We'll be in some fire energy, but something about being that focused and that fixed, that fixed fiery energy versus cardinal or mutable. Um, but yeah, guys, it's a time to act. It's a time to act and being honest with yourself and getting yourself straight. That's all. That's all. And it's been never ending. I know a lot of us have been doing this for quite some time. But it's so important now than ever to be so cognizant. Also, be very aware of your thoughts right now, okay? Be very aware of your thoughts. Try to keep it as high vibe as possible. Sometimes we get bogged down. That happens. Just recognize it. Just recognize it for what it is. It's going to affect your manifestations, okay? So try it. When you get a negative thought, just rebuke it. Just throw it out or take that thought and turn it into a positive or just start immediately forcing yourself to go into a positive headspace, like, like, I can't even think of an example right now. It's so hard to think of an example. But you know what I mean. Just be careful with your state of um, of your thoughts. Keep your vibe high. Keep your vibe high right now, okay? And keep working on this, all right? So, guys, I'm really excited for this energy shift. I know I feel really good. I hope you guys feel really good. Um, and please use it to your benefit, okay? All right, guys, I will see you later. Um, I got to get to my Patreon monthlies and I got to finish those before I get back to the weeklies, okay? I hope you guys have a really great night. Namaste.